clap, 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 clap. Yeah, I was on the 49ers on Sunday. Let's get that out of the way. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's sad. I'm a Philly guy. I've been fading them the last couple of weeks. One week I lost fading them against the uh, Chiefs. Last week I uh, pushed fading them against the Bills. This week I won fading them against the 49ers. And then there have been plenty of times that I have taken Philly this season where we have cashed in too. But I cannot let my home team affect the way I run my show. Am I still an Eagles fan? Absolutely. Bird gang. Brr. But yesterday I liked the 49ers and on Sunday and on this day, the San Francisco 49ers were the better team. There was so much narrative surrounding this game, following this game. 49ers have had this one circled for a long time. And they showed up. They beat Philadelphia fair and square in Philadelphia's house. They made their in-season statement. Debo is a monster. CMC is a monster. Kittle is a monster. Purdy monster Kyle Shanahan monster those San Francisco 49ers defenders monsters and on this day in the regular season they looked great they looked unstoppable we cash in on the San Francisco 49ers now Eagles back to the drawing board for weeks, I've been thinking the Eagles were going to get got, you know. And for weeks, they have been grinding out. They have grinded out these really good, tough wins against good football teams. And it's not going to get easier for Philadelphia. Dallas and Seattle. It's tough sledding. There are no gimmies in the NFL. Do I think Philadelphia can beat San Francisco 49ers? Absolutely. Yes, I absolutely do. I will stand by that 100% on any given day. I mean, who's to say they meet up against San Francisco doesn't come out looking like they did against, say, Minnesota? I mean, who knows? Who knows? This ain't over. This ain't over. I know on this day in the regular season, I felt like the 49ers were going to win and cover this game, and they did. Bird gang till I die? Absolutely. Six and two on Sunday? I crushed it. Full week special. Full week Benny special. Yep. <coughs> Benny here. GhostPixATS.com. The number one sports consultant in the business. Monday, December 4th. I think it's Jay-Z's birthday today. Benny winter week up now. $77.77. That's the promo for today. Pinned right here in the top of the comment section. It's also the pop-up right on the website. www.GhostPixATS.com. Get involved. Full week. All sports, all plays, Monday to Sunday. The cold weather is here, but Benny's running hot, all right? Um, Monday to Sunday, all sports, all plays, red alerts included, UFC included. Six and two on Sunday to finish the week. My two losses were actually in the NFL on Sunday. I lost on the Jets, I know, <laughs> and the Chiefs. I won on the 49ers, and I won on the, the Dolphins commanders over Puts me at 60, uh, 66, 30, and 3 now in the NFL this season. We have Monday Night Football tonight. Bengals at Jags. Jags getting a Monday Night game. Let's get it. I won on every other sport on Sunday. Won on every other sport on the day. Winner on Chelsea Moneyline. Winner on West Ham Crystal Palace under 2.5. Winner on Wild Blackhawks under 6.5. Winner on Arizona State under 135.5. Tack on two more NFL winners. Pair it up with those two NFL losers. Puts us at 6-2 and two on Sunday Funday. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, free play on the Bucs Panthers under 37 loss. Oh, uh, yeah, Rushka. Well, they end up they scoring 39 points or something like that. You know, whatever. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. I know Carolina lost again. I know Mike Evans eclipsed 1,000 yards receiving again. Mike Evans has hit 1,000 or more receiving yards now in every season since he's been drafted in 2014. He's a beast. He's a beast. And we have lots of season left to play. Mike Evans is a beast. Put some respect on Mike uh, Evans' name. Okay? So the giving season continues. Full week special. Benny Winter Week is going to be up all day 
long from now until midnight. That's the promo for Monday, $77.77 for a full week, all sports with the Ben Dog. Let's keep it running. Let's keep it running hot. Day package is there as well, $29.99. If you're new to my page, welcome. Take a second out of your day, subscribe to the YouTube channel, okay? Tap the bell, you get my video every single time it pops up. And then most importantly, thumbs up in the video, okay? Double thumbs up in the video. Uh, let's hit our shout out of the day for uh, Shouts House for uh, Monday. I looked over Saturday. Shout out of the day for Saturday belongs to one man, and that is uh, Stephen Hairston, my guy. Alabama, not plus the points, Alabama money line. That's my shout out for uh, of the day. And that's for Saturday, if you remember, if you recall. We didn't do it yesterday. So going back to Saturday, Stephen Hairston, Alabama money line. We had some good winners on Saturday. People took Alabama plus the points. People took Michigan minus the 21, minus the 22. SMU was a nice pick, but nope. Nope. Stephen Hairston, Alabama money line. That takes it. Okay, that takes it. College playoffs are set. Some folks are mad about it, and I get it. I mean, I'd be too if I was FSU, but I'm not arguing with the call on this. I believe they got it right, as a matter of fact. Michigan is in. Washington is in. That's automatic, right? So you're left with two spots, four teams that I feel like could be deserving to get in that college playoff. You have Bama, you have Texas, you have Georgia, you have Florida State. Florida State undefeated, I know. It's just unfortunate the way things have played out for Florida State. It is. It is. And I know people are going to disagree with me on it. But uh, and then you have Bama, who lost to Texas this year, but then they beat Georgia in that conference championship the other day. So if you put Georgia in, got to put Bama in, right? Put Bama in. How could you leave Texas out? They won their conference, and they gave Bama their only loss. So, I think they got it right. I think the right teams are in as crazy as it sounds, but here we are, baby. It's that time of year. Hey, uh, championship will be here before you know it. National championship. Super Bowl will be here before you know it. Sadly. I get sad when fantasy football comes to an end. I get sad when college football comes to an end. And then I get sad when the Super Bowl happens, and then all football comes to an end. Just comes and goes so stinking fast. Anyway, shout out of the day for Saturday, Stephen Hairston. And then on Sunday, Packers beat the Chiefs easily. Easily. It's crazy. This is what I've been talking about in the NFL. Like how? Who knows? But that's what I mean. Like we're seeing the best teams in the league and we're seeing them struggle at times this year. Packers officially alive in the wild card race. Shout out of the day, Packers plus six and over 43. Shout out of the day, Peter Reyes the third. Mike Scott, Mr. Aloha, Chino 332, Brian Stevens, F and Bob. I think I got everybody on this one. I, I had a lot of new people commenting on Sunday, and I really love to see that. If you're new to my page, stick around, keep playing the game, keep playing. Uh, doing the guess the correct outcome we're gonna do it again today keep them coming on monday we're doing monday night football tonight this is an interesting game to me here Bengals are plus 10 they're giving the Bengals absolutely zero respect burrow goes down i know the fork gets stuck in the Bengals. i know just like that afc championship last year to getting 10 points against the jaguars in prime time Let's guess the correct outcome of this game. 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Cincinnati Bengals at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Bengals plus 10 and over 40. Bengals plus 10 and under 40. Jaguars minus 10 and over 40. Jaguars minus 10 and under 40. Guess the correct outcome in the comment section. Let's get a free play. I'm going to the same game. 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Cincinnati Bengals at Jacksonville Jaguars. Free play a day. I'm staying with the under here. I know I took an under. I know I took a, an under on a low total yesterday and I ended up losing two points. But I'm doing it again here and it's a low total. Free play a day. Bengals, Jaguars, under 40. I know I just gave a little spiel about the Bengals getting zero respect. I know Burrow is that dude, Joe Cool with the sunglasses. I know he's that guy. I know he is. I know the Bengals are cooked without him. I know. I know the guy. 
I can't even. I, Brownie. I, I know he. I know that it's not it. I know their season went down with Burrow. I know, but man, someone on that team has to be seeing this line and saying, "Oh, word, we're ten point underdogs in front of the nation on Monday night." Okay, okay, but anyway, I mean, I think both defenses kind of deserve a look. Uh, Cincinnati's below average, middle of the pack, I'd say, defensively. But I think they've done a decent job keeping teams in check up until recently. But one thing is how often will they be on the field? And we kind of saw it last week. Is that off if, if, if that offense can't get going and that defense is constantly out there on the field and that Jags run game and that Jags offense starts wearing them down, I mean, that could spell trouble for Cincinnati, right? Jacksonville's defense, for the most part, really holding teams in check offensively. You know, defensively, I mean, uh, J uh, Jags have been good on both sides of the ball. Zip, no doubt about it. Definitely one of, I, I would say, top teams in the league, right? So that defense is above average. Bengals, I mean, Bengals did just give up 400 yards of offense to the Steelers last week. Ah, we saw it to Steelers. I don't know. I never know what to think about Pittsburgh. I really, truly don't. But what I really want to know is, are the Bengals just done? Are they giving up? Are they going to find a way to come together, step up, somebody make plays, and somehow manage to play a respectable game, win or lose? I'm going to rock with the under in tonight's game. Free play of the day, Jaguars, Bengals, under 40. Benny Week is up. That is the promo for today. $77.77. It's the pop-up on our website. It is on the main page. It is on my pop-up. It is on my community page. It is the promo for the day, and it is up all day. It's Monday to Sunday. It's all sports, all plays. $77.77. .77. And then if you want, day package, $29.99. Hey, as always, good luck. God bless. Great all, baby. Cheers.